Well, today is International Women's Day and we are seeing the true legacy of the Lionesses Euros triumph. Yeah, after that historic victory last year, they wrote an open letter to the UK government demanding equal sporting opportunities for girls and boys in schools. And they also wanted girls to have access to at least two hours of PE per week. Well, today the government has pledged to meet those demands and has promised more than £600 million in funding. In August last year, England, of course, won the Euros at Wembley, the country's first major trophy since the men's team won the World Cup in 1966. And just two days later, the team penned an open letter to Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, who at the time were both vying to become the new Prime Minister. And in that letter, they insisted that their triumph was only the beginning. Signed by all of the squad, with England defender Lottie Wibber Moy seen as one of the key forces behind it, it pointed out how only 63% of girls could play football in PE lessons and also called for greater investment and support for female PE teachers. So the government has today announced a package that promises to fulfil those calls for investment, something which has been welcomed by Lioness captain Leah Williamson. This is what she has said. The success of the summer has inspired so many young girls to pursue their passion for football. We see it as our responsibility to open the doors for them to do so. And this announcement makes that possible. This is the legacy that we want to live much longer than us as a team. She says, on behalf of all the Lioness players, we'd like to thank our teammate Lottie Wibben Moy as a driving force behind this transformational change. We couldn't be prouder to stand alongside her and we all look forward to seeing the impact this legacy creates. And this is what Lottie Woman Moy said. By making football more accessible to millions of girls across the nation, we have opened a crucial door for the growth of women's football and women's sport as a whole. I'm proud to be part of something that will live on for generations to come. This is just the beginning. Well, let's take a close look at the funding plan and what exactly it will mean going forward. The key line is that the Lionesses call for every girl to have the opportunity to play football in school. And that has been answered. The government has pledged that there will be equal access to sports in schools. Well, the government say they plan to spend more than £600 million to improve PE and sports in primary schools and then up to another £57 million in funding for facilities that can be used by children outside of school hours. Another of the direct requests from the Lionesses was that girls had access to a minimum of two hours a week of PE and that is another point of the government's package. The Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, said that last year the Lionesses' victory changed the game. Young girls know that when they take the pitch that football is for them and thanks to the Lionesses, they too could be part of the next generation to bring it home for their country. He went on to say, we want schools to build on this legacy and give every girl the opportunity to do the same sports as boys, as well as provide a minimum of two hours of PE. This means that every child can benefit from regular exercise and we're able, we are proud to provide them with the support needed to do so. Well, it's a timely announcement from the government, as we mentioned, coming on International Women's Day. Everton's Gabby George was the first player at the club to sign a full-time professional contract back in 2017. The England defender is helping to promote opportunities in the sport as an ambassador for the Her Game 2 campaign, which also aims to call out and eradicate sexism within the sport. Sometimes people don't think that they're doing it because they'll say comments like, oh, it's a man's game, but little comments like that aren't needed either. But I think we're strong enough to deal with that now and, and we know how hard we work to be where we are and, and we're starting to get, get the success that we deserve from it, like the girls winning the Euros. That's only pushed women's football even further than what it was before and we're just going to keep pushing our game so it comes to a place where people can't say anything because we practice every day to become better footballers and hopefully we can see that when we're playing on the likes of Sky Sports. I think the opportunities when I was growing up were minimal. Um, I think we're starting to get more and more opportunities but I think her game two is about not just on the field, off the field as well and, and pushing not just football but all sports for women. Um, I think women have the right to do whatever they want to do and I think that's what we want to push. I think I'm a person that believes that I can do anything that I want to. Um, so with the support around us and having other people that believe that too will make it a lot easier for young girls growing up. I think with someone with two little sisters I think it's amazing. Um, I think I want them to have as many opportunities growing up and 
and it not being an opportunity that's hard to find. I think me growing up, the opportunities were hard to find. Um, so we want to make it easier for them and let them go and do it at whatever level, whether that be grassroots or in the WSL. And I think that's the way that it's going. And, and it's great for me to be an ambassador for that and also Seamus too. Well, as Gabby George mentioned there, and you can see here, she's joined as uh, an ambassador for her game too by Everton men's captain Seamus Coleman. He is delighted with the growth of the women's game and explained how it's been helping the club overall. I've got uh, two little girls myself as well, so I know how important, like, you know, inclusion is for everyone and for it to be, uh, for the girls to have such a big part in, in football going forward. And I think we've seen how important uh, women's football has been, especially the last couple of years, you know, with it, with England winning the Euros and even my own country, Ireland, qualifying for World Cup. So um, we're going in the right direction for sure. Even here at Finch Farm, you know, we're, we're kind of crossing over with the women's team all the time, whether it be the gym or in this area, you're seeing them and, and um, you know, you're, you're bouncing ideas off each other. So it's good the relationship we have between the men and the women's team here as well.